Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the NFC West Roundtable. That is right. We are going to give you probably the 5,000th mock draft you have seen. But let me tell you what. I know you're not sick of it. I may be a little bit of the mock drafts. I'm ready to actually see all the players our team actually decides to bring into the organization. However, we are still just as pumped to be here. Smash that like button as you are coming in. Let's go around the table, see how everybody is doing. Mike, the AZ sports fan. How you doing, bro? I am good. I am not sick of mock drafts, man. We got so many different opportunities to do so many different things, so many different scenarios. So I'm loving it. I mean, everything up. Uh, I'm excited, yeah. man. We got, what, eight days, nine days away from the draft? Let's get it that going. It, I'm, stoked. I'm stoked. And so Mike's been doing them since October, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's, no sleep. No sleep. He's the best in the business. Jesse, what's going on, man? How you doing? What's going on, man? Yeah, excited to do yet another mock draft. But I have to say, if you guys were not afraid of the 49ers in the West, you are now because Trent Taylor has returned to the San Francisco 49ers. And you may be saying who you should be. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, it was just announced before we came live. So <laughs> breaking and there for the dramatic. Food. And so I'm not even going to lie to you. As soon as he said that name, I was like, shit, should I know? <laughs> oh, I, no, I remembered him. <laughs> yeah, all right. Norm, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. It's uh, good to be on here again with you guys, man. The sun's out here in Seattle. You know, it's like, uh, you know, the yeah. reflection of, you know, the turn of the page on spring, drafts around yeah. the corner. I feel refreshed, like whole new world, whole new year coming up here. It's exciting, man. I love I it. I don't see sunny in your backdrop. Yeah, <laughs> that's all fake. That's all smoking and mirrors. It's early out, sun, sunny out there. Beautiful. Don't, don't remind the, the lightning storm back there. That's all. Yeah, that's yeah, all. yeah, most definitely. That's just that's, that's just you after they don't draft who you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Jake. What's going on with you, brother? How you doing? Oh, I'm good, man. Uh, glad to be back. Glad to be with you guys. And uh, I mean, we're talking NFL draft. I mean, come on. There's not yeah. much better than that. So no. No, not at all. Is that a Freddy Krueger sweater you got on there? That's what I was thinking too. It is. All right. <laughs> it's got the Michael Myers mask and then the Freddy Krueger. I love hey, it, man. I got to stick to my horror roots, you know? I love it. Oh, so, yeah. You Dude. and me both. Horror at the <laughs> core, man. I did. That's Norm, why man. I took such an exception to when you were saying that you had your own movie. I was like, oh. I'm still waiting for a copy of that. Yeah, I do need a copy. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. I will. Uh, I'll work on that. I still got some DVDs lying around, you know. Hey. <laughs> DVDs, man. All right, folks. You know the name of the game. Guys, do us a favor. Smash that like button for us as we dive into this five-round mock draft. I want to put this on the slow mode real fast. Yeah, I was going to say, last <laughs> very, time, there were some trades that wanted to be made, and we couldn't yeah, do it. <laughs> trades wanted to be made, like, during it. So if anybody wants to, you know, trade up, scream, pause, we can make it happen. And then obviously we will uh, look over all of the options for trading down as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. We're going to start the draft super slow mode. And it looks like Caleb Williams. Look at that. There you go. You should every single mock draft you've seen. Jaden shocking. Drake May, third to the New England Patriots. Mike, tell us exactly what we are now. <laughs> I've seen mock drafts where Marvin Harrison Jr. goes to three, and it pisses me off because it throws everything off. Let's go Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm not even going to mess around and give you a Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. Blue chip prospect, as our friend Jake likes to say. Dr dripping on in. The Chargers have selected Roma Dunze. Oh. The Giants, J.J. McCarthy. Yeah. Titans, Joe Alt. Falcons, Brock Bowers. Yeah, that's bizarre. Dallas Turner. Yeah, right. Talisa. What is <laughs> what is this? Once again, what man. What is this? It's all right. The right players Malik are Neighbors. at least going. Is Malik Neighbors has fallen? J.C. Latham over to the Las Vegas Raiders. Terry on Arnold, the Saints. And then, of course, we have the Indianapolis Colts taking Fashanu. And then look at that, Norb. All right. Pick number 16. Talk to me. All right. Well, last time 
we did this. A, I thought we were doing seven rounds instead of five, so I like wasted a bunch of picks that I never got to use. So I'm not gonna make that mistake <laughs> this time. <laughs> and then secondly, I went with the most boring, like the most obvious and probably not realistic thing was like, let's just go guard, tackle, defensive tackle. It was like, you know, I'm not going to mess around with that. So I'm going to get some picks here. You know, we got we to gotta bolster up the roster here. So I want to trade back here. Okay. Well, what I want to do is I want to stay late in the first round and try to get a second out of this. So I'm looking at, I think the Eagles or the Packers have some picks that are like kind of right in that realm. So can can we see what the... Uh, what the Eagles have? Yeah, most definitely. Falcons and the Broncos are the only ones that have sent you anything, and they are in the second. But we can check out the Eagles real fast. We can see if we can make it interesting for them. Yeah, what are we to not even interested. <laughs> <laughs> well, throw it. Throw the. Uh... All right. Throw, they won't so even throw, do in, uh, throw my two thirty-five in there. Let's see. Throw the two thirty-five in there. 16 to 235. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> They're not no. at all. Like they just not at all. It's just all right. Let's 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 go. Let's, let's look at Packers. Wow. Let's look at the Packers. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe the Packers might be interested in this. Okay, 25. No, what the heck? Interesting. That was Trade bizarre. That's wild. Yeah, what I think right now you're. Here? Yeah, most definitely. What about the Steelers? Let's let's see what the Steelers want to do here. Pittsburgh Steelers. One. Could definitely see the Steelers trading up here. Pittsburgh Steelers trade. Bro, this is glitched. There's no way. I feel like it's been doing this lately. If if a team isn't interested, like if they don't come to you with a trade, then they just won't accept anything. I can force the trade, Norm. <laughs> well, I don't want to like completely do some, you know, Far-fetched fantasy, <laughs> not in the realm of possibility here. All right, go. Let, let me just see those trades. Again. Was it the Falcons? Is that who was, was and the Broncos? Yeah, it was the Falcons. But uh, you're dipping into the second round here. Falcons forty-three, Denver yeah. seventy-six. Not interested. What about um, you? Said the Broncos had something. Yeah, but their next pick is seventy-six. Oh god. Well, I guess. Crap. I guess I'm just gonna have to pick here then. Quarterback. Well. I'm going to go uh, – <laughs> I just – I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to go edge here with, with Latu here from UCLA when you put him in here. Latu right over there. Solid see, 15 sacks last year. I mean, you can never go up. wrong with an edge rusher, right? I mean, never. there's never enough edge rushers. Never. And you know what? I mean, maybe during your second-round pick or, or whenever you're next. I don't have round a second-round pick. pick. That's the problem. Ooh. Ah. All right. Well, trade well, up, we always trade up. We always trade up here, Norm. Maybe I trade up. Oh, but good God. Out. Brian Thomas went. That's so sad. Um, yeah. hmm. Joe Burrow, a T. Higgins replacement looks like. Go ahead. Let's see. I think I definitely want to trade down. All right. Let's see who your suitors are. The Buccaneers at twenty six, the Lions at twenty nine, and the Falcons at forty three are the interested parties. I'll take the Buccaneers at twenty six. I like that. Okay. Why do I think I know what you're doing here? Um, let's see if 57 works. Okay, let's chance. let's throw some back end picks. So let's see. Um, 196. See if that. A little bit. 47. Let's give them the whole. <laughs> no, no. Um, I want to make it somewhat realistic. Next year's sixth, maybe. 52 percent chance let's try that roll the dice offer it Accept. let's go look at that the let's Rams go are adding to their litany of picks already gotta love it and with that they took byron murphy the second bo nix goes bo nix what bo nix at 20 what at 20 and to the steelers as well Jeez. russell wilson and justin field so i mean hey listen at this point i feel like so they're just throwing darts at the wall and hoping one of these quarterback prospects. Oh is my! Pennick, is Penix still on the board? Is Penix still on the it's board? It's still a hard decision. Oh he, I, yeah! I knew it was going to be a hard decision either way. Going Mims or Mitchell? How did you know? Um, <laughs> you know, Les Needs' son goes to Texas. 
I think he's going to pick a Texas Longhorn in this draft. I'm going to go with Adonai Mitchell, who I think is one of the best route runners in this draft. A.D. Mitchell paired with Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. I love it. Arizona Cardinals. All have right. your generational wide receiver. What we let's about? take a look here. Let, do me a favor. Scroll down a little bit for me. Let's let's see sure. who's uh, who's on the. All right, it's a little bit more. Okay, go back up. Okay, so I'm a little conflicted here. I, I think Newton is definitely an option here for the Cardinals. We. What I really want to do is, is address edge. Um. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, go ahead and filter this out to edge for me real quick. And I think I know who I want to get. Um, oh. I'm going to go after Chop. We Chop Robinson them. over Isaac, huh? Yep. We're, we're going to Chop Robinson. We Chop. met with him. I'm trying to keep it as real as we possibly can. Chop Robinson. Chop. Damn. It's a good pick. Uh, I would say so. His drops are kind of like, he was pretty high up there two years ago. But I think something happened where it fell. Oh, you guys drafted uh, Xavier Worthy, it looked like there. Dan, how do you feel about that? Um, I'd rather Lad McConkey to be honest with you. <laughs> anyway, let's see who the trade is real quick. Let's see. You have one trade, and it's the Atlanta Falcons at forty-three. Let's see what they want to do. Let's see if we can take forty-three and seventy-four from them. Fifty percent chance. Let's offer it. Let's see if we can get it. Let's offer. Let's see what we got here. They rejected it. Let's give them one seventy-six. Oh, and, and careful spamming it because I I found out the hard way. If they reject it all the times, you never get to trade again. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Go ahead and offer it real quick. You never get to trade again. Four attempts remaining. Offer the trade. They rejected a sixty-four percent chance. Wow. Right. Okay, let's give them. Let's take one seventy-six out and give them one thirty-five. Let's see what they do. That's a seven. All right, Not there sure. we go. Let's offer that. There, exactly. there you go. Look at all that. Right. Look a little at, further back than what I wanted to go, but whatever. We'll, yeah. we'll see how it pans out for him. Yeah, most definitely. Lab McConkey goes to the Kansas City Chiefs. I feel like the that's last the thing guy. we want. <laughs> the last. Arizona oh, Cardinals. Oh, buddy. Okay, perfect. This is landing perfectly for me here. I'm. I'm not gonna just give me Jerzon. Uh, Jerzon Newton. Jerzon Newton. Yeah. Falling. You almost took him last one. That was good. Yeah. Falling tremendous. Monty. All right, can you pause it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we got a trade. Wait a minute. Who did they just? Oh, okay. Seattle oh, Seahawks. Oh. Or 37, uh, 37 now, right? Yep, 37 right now with the LA Chargers. Oh, Seattle's making a move, folks. All right. What do I need to do to try to sweet th talk them into them giving me the 37? <laughs> Let's see, Norm. Give them uh, everything you have. Everything you have. You start from the bottom and work your way up. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, wow. want to move. Holy crap. Next wow. Year. They do not wow. want to move at all. I love how they're like, this trade will not be accepted. Okay. <laughs> uh, you got to dip it to next year. Oh my God! You'd have to give him a first at this a rate. First rounder yeah. and my eighty-one to get this pick. You'd have to. It'd be the only way. <laughs> well, this is a forty-seven percent. Oh wait, what? Wait, what? So if you gave him an eighty-one, one seventy-nine, and a twenty twenty-five second round. One seventy-nine is is that is that sixth round? Uh, fifth. Is that isn't the, that is part of the fifth? Where, where's the cutoff on the fifth round? Fifth round, ninety nine is third. One. Let me see. Cut off is one seventy six. Okay, so I, I don't need that. We didn't even get this deck in, in this show. In this world. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's let's uh, let's offer it. Okay, we walking away with a twenty twenty five second, eighty first, and one seventy nine. We're gonna offer it. Yeah. Bang. And no, they not. accept. Okay, uh, scroll down, please. Talk to me. You know what? I'm going to do what probably does make sense, but I've 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 dreamed of what how Penix. cool it would be. Let's go, Penix Junior. Here, <laughs> uh, let's 37, go. baby. Penix let's go, Junior. Let's Dude. go. Seattle's let's win Seahawks. next year. 
<laughs> not win now. <laughs> Let's win next year or maybe in two. Seattle Seahawks <laughs> shock the world, trade up to get their guy. Hopefully the replacement for Gino moving into it. Certainly familiar. Long-term investment. Certainly familiar with the area. Indeed. We can go from there. And the offensive coordinator. And the offensive coordinator. Look at that. Michael Penix, Seattle Seahawks. Welcome. San Francisco 49ers on the clock. 43rd. Wow, you have a lot of picks. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) All right. Let's uh, let's scroll down. Let's see what we got available to us here. Let's go. Your guy's right there. Damn. I know he is. I know he is. Do you think he will be there at 43? I think there's a possibility. Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I can see you guys taking 31. Uh, let's scroll up. I mean, it's boring, and I know I've done it before, but we got to go with Morgan. That's my guy. Gotta and at 43, up. I mean, come on. Jordan Morgan have to go solidify that damn offensive line. I'm just still so jazzed that Norv traded all the way up. <laughs> hey man, you know, got to live a little. Yeah, dude, dude, absolutely. Well, that and like, yeah, well, that and I'm sure Norb just didn't want to be sitting around until the third round. At one point, he's like, come on, I gotta make <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I got to make something happen. I got to be somewhat interesting. Anyway, we did have a super chat come in real fast. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, it's it's from our good friend, brother Bob, saying, Norb, I like you because you say a lot of yet nothing at. At all the same time, I like you. <laughs> I like you because you say a lot. Of yet nothing at all, too. And that, and that takes talent, folks. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's LA great. Rams on the clock, fifty-two. That is great. Yeah, damn. Um, okay, scroll down for me. Let's go. Let's see. All right, I'm going to take, and I understand some people might think this is a reach, but he's going to go this high. I'm going to take Jonah Ellis. Jonah Ooh. Ellis. Let me, find, let me find this dude. Jonah Ellis, Utah edge rusher. Yep. Damn. Welcome on in. And, folks, definitely feel free to engage in the chat. Let us know your thoughts on your picks, how your representatives are doing, how you would have done it differently. Or if they are on the Some, money. Somebody in the chat. SoCal Ram 88 like that. Look at that. And ha- now I'm going to trade back here because I want another third. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. The San Francisco I love how they're interested. I love like, how they're <laughs> offering. No. <laughs> yeah, we're not interested. I don't know what is going on. Yeah, that's that's weird. Graham. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can you can veto you can override this trade and just make that not happen, right? Yeah, I absolutely. Mean, you two oh, guys can just talk it out. So the Patriots at sixty eight. Uh, uh, they have a relationship. They've traded before. And so, roo- and, Rams. and so your roommates are also interested as well. <laughs> your roommates? You mean the ones that pay one dollar <laughs> <laughs> for rent? Yeah. Look at that. Um, let's uh, try the they Patriots. Have a race car bed. Yeah, the race car bed and everything. <laughs> All right. Let's see um, what we want. So uh, I don't like the Patriots. I mean, I, it's not nothing against them personally. I the just, 103. You know, 103 is kind of ugly. Um, we got Chargers. the Chargers. We have the Browns as well. Anybody else? The Chargers. Is down the, the, oh, third. my God. This is way down. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I might take the Patriots offer, actually, because they don't have a fourth-round pick. The Rams don't. We're doing a fifth round, uh, five-round mock. So, yeah, I'll take the Patriots offer. Uh, 68-103. And what else? Will they offer a 137 as well? 54% chance of accepting. All right, I'll do a pick swap there and throw them 217. See if that works. 65 percent i'll do it odds are in your favor offer the trade the pats have accepted oh, Look at that we're moving. wheeling and dealing over here wheeling. i'm just having fun wheeling and absolutely Man, you got you got 
picks. That's what I'm saying. You're about to have a loaded practice squad, baby, once he gets down. Oh, man. It's, it's got to be pretty solid. And so the Bills take Roman Wilson. Interesting. Anyway, San Francisco 49ers back on the clock. 63rd overall pick. All right. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I have some options here. I'm going to try to make this as realistic as possible. Just bring in some guys that the 49ers have visited with. Even though I'm not as big on him. Um, I'll go uh, Andrew Phillips. Andrew Phillips, cornerback yeah. out of Kentucky. He's six, been in there. Six foot 187, Andrew Phillips, San Francisco 49ers. And look at that. Again, not my favorite guy. I probably personally wouldn't go for him, but I could see the 49ers taking him. So trying to make it realistic here. No, oh, we have the Cardinals on the clock. 66 right. overall. Okay. So yeah, Let's man. scroll down for me here real quick. I kind of think I know who I want, but let me see who's available. Just a little bit more. Spencer Rattler. Sure. <laughs> um, can you filter out cornerback real quick? That's still a position I still haven't addressed. Spencer Rattler, Michael Pratt. <laughs> I apologize. Cornerback. Corner. Yeah, yeah, cornerback. He's yeah, really sorry. trying to sell that Spencer Rattler. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure oh, you don't want available? Spence. Are you sure you don't want Spence? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is actually, I apologize, get out of this, um, and we're gonna actually gonna get a, get a, get a, get a uh, guard. Sorry, so we're gonna get Christian Haynes. Christian Haynes. Yes. As soon as when I saw his name. Yeah. That's what I thought you should. Look at that beautiful thing. The Rams back on the table from the New England trade. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Scroll down a little bit. Okay. Spencer Rattler. Which is right. <laughs> let's see. A little bit more. Okay, none of that. Um, let's filter out interior defensive line and tackle. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Where do I want to go here? Actually, filter out linebacker. Linebackers, too. Let's see what we got here. This might be a little weird of a pick, but um, yeah, scroll down. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go Junior Colson. I like the idea of, you know, first off, the Rams have an expiring deal in Ernest Jones, so they have to sign him to a, a long-term deal. Um, Colson might be the best linebacker in this draft. I'm surprised he's still there. So I don't know. That was a sneaky pick. So are you not an Edger and Cooper guy? I'm not like anti Edger and Cooper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have like a, a hate club, uh, you know, dedicated to him, but I'm not exactly jumping for joy over anybody in this class, except I do really like Junior Colson and Peyton Wilson. Peyton Wilson. Got Mike, right. back, is, back on the is board. Is Peyton Wilson still there? Uh, he's been going early second, typically. Yeah, yeah I think he's gone. All right, Mike. scroll down for me. I think there's a cornerback that I want to take a flyer on. Uh, Kyrie Jackson. Kyrie Jackson. Yeah. We need to address the needs, and that's exactly what we've done so far. Yes. Kyrie Jackson. Sir. He's older, isn't he? Yeah, 25. Yeah. 25 years old, man. Those COVID kids right. coming in strong, man. <laughs> Lions and the Niners back on Perfect. the clock. Let's go doorless. Brandon Dorless. Man, what do you like about Dorless, man? Talk to us. I love everything about Dorless. He's just super versatile. I mean, I feel like he could he could play on the edge during downs one and two. He could play on the interior. I just feel like he's a 49er type of guy. So, Look at that. Damn, I was about to say, I feel like everyone in the NFC West just has a laundry list of picks this year, man. Look at that. Well, they do now. With all, the youth. Yeah. <laughs> all the trades. 
Yeah. Lo- loaded up with youth. All right, the Rams. What are we thinking right here, Matt? Let's see tackle. Because we drafted – what did we draft? We drafted Adonai Mitchell. We, so we got a wide receiver and edge, and we got a linebacker, which I'm sure probably surprised people. Surprised me even. I just thought he was the best available. All right. Um, let's see. Scroll down a little bit. I know the, the new update, they're kind of different. Like some of the guys are out of order a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with Dominic Pooney. Okay, first off, repping my KU Jayhawks in the background there. Second, he can play every single position on the offensive line, but I think he can be a genuine left tackle in the NFL. So, um, yeah, Dominic Pooney. Dominic Pooney. Then pause it, pause it, pause it. All right, as soon as one allows me to. Go ahead. Oh, we're trading up. Ooh, okay. That was close. All right, let's see, uh, let's see if we can get 85 from these guys. All right, San Francisco, 85. Give him 94. Jeez, they're just not even interested. All right, okay, okay. Wow. It's just not going to happen, so you can let it go, and let's see if we can trade the Texans. (laughs) Let's just keep pausing until we can get a trade going. Uh, The Texans. Ah, too late, too late. Javon Baker's who I wanted, so. Ooh, uh, oh my goodness! All right, well, I'm roll glad. the dice. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Is we got Graham coming trade. in saying, cute, saying, "Booty of the Rams." Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate the support over here. Sorry about Javon Baker, man. He's <laughs> yeah. He's... That's the furthest <laughs> I've ever seen him fall. Because every time I try to get him, I know it's like seventy. I'm like, what? <sighs> That. He was there, the man. Days. I wanted him bad, but I miss the days where his stock was in like the fourth round. You just snatch him, <laughs> yeah. just steal him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, man. so we are back on the clock, 90th overall. Um, scroll down for me just a little bit. I kind of already know who I want to go with, but just for the sake of looking down here, okay. The Cardinals need to double down in a wide receiver. I usually like to take either Cowing or Brendan Rice, but McMillan is up there. I'm going to go with McMillan. We, we are meeting with a lot of Washington Huskies this year, so and we met with them as well. So we're going to bring him in as a potential three. He's pretty What's versatile, it? man. Stealing all my dogs, man. I'm telling Some you. Good receivers here. Slot, yeah. He plays out of the slot. He plays out in the boundary. Oh, I Why hate you, Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Lix Hunt. All right. Yeah. Perfect. San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers on the clock, 94th overall. What do we Yeah, doing? we're we're gonna go Cooper BB. Cooper like BB. Man, great prospect. Great prospect going into it. Cooper BB, welcome to the San Francisco 49ers. The damn trenches. Jags take Ray Davis. When is the next Seattle Seahawks pick? That's what I'm. Uh, it's coming up. <laughs> it's, it's coming up. 102, right there. There it is. There it is. Oh, okay. I see him sneaking in. As soon as you said it, boop. Popped right. Up in there. L.A. Rams. All, All right. right. Uh, let's let's scroll down. <laughs> oh, Braylon Trice is still there. Oh. What? I feel like you should get Michael Pratt. I feel like he's a good replacement in the future for uh, Stafford. I like Michael Pratt, so <laughs> I, no, I do too. I'm not joking, and you got a yeah. million picks. Like it wouldn't actually be bad. Yeah. Um. Let's keep scrolling. This. Let's see. Interesting. 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 Sweat's really dropped since the Dewey, huh? Yeah. 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 You know what? I think I'm gonna go with Sweat. Damn, Devondre Sweat, man. I could totally see the Rams doing it um, if he falls far enough. And like I said, the Texas connection. Oh. 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 Can he miss it? <laughs> Can he miss it? Is that what you said? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you miss what you were going for there? I think you missed it by one. No, no, we're okay. okay. You're okay? Oh, you got it. I'm okay. I want to get in front of Norb. I don't think he's going to get this guy, but can we trade up right here? What you want, man? Um, 
so deliberate. <laughs> yeah, 104. Um, and then give him. Can you give him like 186 or something? Yeah. yeah. Trade will be accepted. Offer the trade. Cardinal. Uh, what are you thinking about here? Uh, Trice. Give me a Braylon Trice. Oh, Braylon Trice, man. That's pretty you good. Have, you should have asked Norb what he was thinking. No, I'm going uh, you good, old, good old trenches here, so yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay he with took lots of I got to get, I gotta get, I gotta get Penix some protection here. Let's let's get him. What do you want? Offensive tackle and interior? What do you need? Yeah, show me, show me guards and tackles. All right. Christian Mahogany. Oh, yes. Austin yes, that's it. That's the guy. Mm, like him. Some rich mahogany. <laughs> Some rich mahogany out of Boston. <laughs> out of Boston College, boys. Boston LA College. Rams. LA Rams. It would make no sense, but like Malik Washington would be so nice in Sean yeah. McVay's offense. Um he would. Yeah, we're we're not going that route, but <laughs> yeah. uh let's see here. Scroll down. So we got I mean we got Edge, wide receiver, interior defensive line. We we added um, offensive tackle, right? So four mm -hmm. players so far. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Man, you know, there's a weapon in this draft that I think is getting overlooked. He played at Iowa, transferred to Purdue. He can pass catch because he's a former receiver. I'm talking about Tyrone Tracy. I think Tyrone Tracy Ooh. at this pick would be very sneaky, could be a weapon in this offense. He's older, right? So you're looking at, I don't know, he's pretty much Jarek McKinnon, but a Jarek McKinnon in this offense would be really nice. So I'm going to go with Tyrone Tracy here. Tyrone Tracy out of Purdue, man. Saw a little one-two punch with the run game he got there already. Yeah. You, you have to have something that's different than Kyron Williams, and I feel like Tyrone Tracy is that. Got it. Got it. And so I'm not going to lie. When I saw Trey White having his press conference with LA, it kind of broke my heart a little bit. I don't lie. So I mentioned that in your video. Like I kept saying Trey White because it was part of my like point that I was making. And I yeah. saw the depression in your face. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I Dude. felt bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all right, man. You know what? We moved on. You know, I uh, wish him the best. And I hope he has a hell of a comeback going into it because he was fun to watch back in his prime. His last two games before he got hurt, he looked like he was an all pro again. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so fingers hopefully crossed. Hopefully that guy's back. back but absolutely. Norm. Oh, hey, back, I got oh, I, 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 I got I to take a moment to make this uh, quick little public service announcement. Look what I got in the mail, man. You, oh, you got it. I appreciate it. I, nice. appreciate it. I, should, I should be wearing this. Yes. Got some merch from you guys a few days ago. I think I was out of town when it came in, but that Derek. thing is sharp, brother. Dude, that is sharp. That is I sharp. Love it. I love Thank it. you. Thank you. Oh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on right here just for, just for you, just for luck. You Hold absolutely on I put this on have here. to, folks. If you are unaware of what Norb is holding up, we actually have a graphic C collection over here there from the NFC West Roundtable. Puka Nakua, Kyler Murray, DK Metcalf, Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle. Oh man, looks it good. Is a beautiful beautiful thing man shameless so plug for the merch everybody there you go so many so many different options right over here we have a representative from everybody in the nfc west definitely go on ahead and check that out folks does, does, does metcalf get a, a, a royalty cut for every one of these that you sell just uh, <laughs> <laughs> all goes to a good cause Hey guys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, right of the stream early. No, anyway. <laughs> All right, oh, what do we man. got here? Who's who's good on the board? We got tight end, uh, running back, wide right receiver. Can you scroll down? What do we got in the linebacker? Let's check out the Let's... linebacker real fast. Tommy Eichenberg. I like Eichenberg. Uh, Maris Leafau as well. Steel Chambers, such a linebacker name. Yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah. He, like was, he was born, and it was just like, yeah, this kid's going to be a linebacker. He was a fun it. interview, man. He's got a personality. Yeah. Ohio State, man. Uh, bring me back up. I've had Eichenberg on a, on a few mocks. I think I'm going to go with him here. we gotta, we got to get some depth here at a position that we're filling in, but a lot of one-year rental guys, so maybe this guy can 
<laughs> Add some depth there. So there we go. Tommy Tommy Eichenberg. Eichenberg. As the San Francisco 49ers are creeping up. Last but not least. Man, they don't think you have any needs. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you're good. You're fine. <laughs> Fine. Offensive line and cornerback is all that PFF thinks that you guys need. And we, we already addressed it. We got it all. We got so, offensive line and cornerback. Now we're just drafting for fun here. All right, scroll down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice to be drafting for fun. Yeah, right. I wonder what that feels like. All right. Let's go uh let's go Cole Bishop. I think he's the better of the Utah safeties. Cole Bishop out of yeah. Utah. I remember you saying that the last time. He's yeah. way better than Sion Vaki. <laughs> <laughs> he is, dude. <laughs> I think he is. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. See who Buffalo gets. Hey, you got a guard. There you go. Yeah, man. Mad. Jordan McGee went that high. Oh, that's sad. Not for that's him. Sad. Sure, he's jumping for joy. 49ers. Let's see what receivers are available. We have Brandon Rice, bro. You want to right. get the bloodline? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're good on the bloodline, Matt? I will take McCaffrey, though. He's a way There's better option than Brendan Rice. Right yeah, hey. Take McCaffrey. hey, we're keeping it in the family here, folks. <laughs> Luke McCaffrey. Way better athlete Brendan Rice. Brendan Rice. Are you not a Brendan Rice guy? No, not at all. I think he's awful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Expand. <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I just don't think he. I don't think he's a good route runner. I don't think he's crisp out of his breaks. I just don't think he's very good. Mm. Well, here, Jerry, you probably should have done a little bit more with your son there. All right. Anyway, LA Rams. What we got? Let's see. Scroll down for me a little bit. I think I know who I want, but, you know. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, uh, why? It all it just never fails. Every time you're like, yeah, I know who I'm going with, and then boom. Let's scroll down. Yeah, scroll down again because I want to torture myself. Love the pain. <laughs> oh, God, it's getting worse. Make it stop. Okay, uh, let's scroll back up before I lose everything. Um, okay. I need to get a backup center for the Rams. So we're going to go with Tanner Bordellini, who's a fantastic athlete, who can be a starter if need be, can also play four out of the five positions. Give me Bordellini. Mm -hmm. Mean lasagna. Tanner, I, yeah, yeah, I was about to say. I think he's Italian. Anyway, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we got Arizona Cardinal on the board. Dog, all right. His mom makes a mean chicken cup. Anyway, <laughs> filter out interior defensive line. Interior defensive line, bro. Okay. This update is fascinating, by the way. Yeah, it is, know. isn't it? There are guys that I have not seen make it this far um, that are still there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, go back up. I think what we're going to do here, let's go Leonard Taylor. Let's bring some more. Let's bring some more meat. Beef. That's right. Beef. What's for dinner? Right. And some, beef. <laughs> and some beef is what you're getting. Six foot three, 305 pounds out of Miami. Look at that. Look at that, man. And I'll tell you what, this fifth round is all NFC West, it appears. This is coming in. Oh, man. I always get excited when the Bills draft, just to see what. Yeah, yeah, see what they're going with. See how disappointed you get. Oh, you took my guy, Theo Johnson, You because you need another tight end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get four. Miles like, Harden's going You're like going the Bears at this point. <laughs> yeah, just keep getting <laughs> tight ends over there, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh my god, Mo Kamara. Mo Kamara was up there. Saints. Jalen Coker is a sleeper wide receiver. Is he? Yes. He's a stud. Jalen Coker. All right, this one's easy. I'm gonna go with Malik Mustafa first. Okay. Add him to that secondary. Okay. Um now let's see below. Uh, keep going down. Hmm. 
Is McLaughlin there? Old reliable cornerback? So I'll tell you what, man. You actually sold me on that guy. I took him in a uh, mock draft earlier because of you. Yeah, have you watched yes. him? He's, he's fun. Yeah, see, I'm just going to take him because that's my last pick of the fifth round. And uh, he's a stud, especially if you have a pri- like a predominantly zone defense. He's yeah. going to be great for that. He's going to be the guy. He's going to be the guy. Corner out of guy. Arkansas, baby. Arkansas. I'm calling it that forever from now on. <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas, baby. All right, dude. Arizona Cardinals. All right, Arizona my last Kansas. pick. Let's go. Okay, we are going to get Cam Hart. Cam Hart. Gonna, yeah, Love Cam bring Hart. Bring him on in. Solid guy. Out of Notre Dame. He always gets a crappy grade whenever you draft him, but I love him. Oh, nice. dude. PFF just loves bullying me. Every grade I, I've <laughs> ever had is bad. Yeah. Okay. And and the Mr. Irrelevant of the <laughs> of the, of the, of the NFC West Roundtable mock draft. What do we you know do? how to get a good grade right here? Take Kalen King, uh, but don't really take him. Go ahead and go down. It always gives you a good grade whenever you take them. Uh, scroll down. I just want to see who else is available. Steel Chambers. Ah, we're going Vidal. That's my guy. We're we're taking him. Kamani Vidal. I just jumped on your uh, Vidal bandwagon. Uh, He's recently. good, right? He is fun to watch, man. <laughs> he is fun there, to watch. He is. Oop, that play isn't in our playbook yet. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, no. What? Can you do your results real quick and see if you can go team to team or no? No, it doesn't allow you to go team to team, which is kind of oh yeah. oh. What about awards? Is that new? Oh no no no! I What's your results good. show? Does it just what is yeah? What is your results show? Is that the no playbook? It, it just shows the uh, first. Oh round my god! They got to figure that out, man. Mock draft. Yeah. That play is in our playbook just yet. Grades. That's unfortunate. But folks, oh, Lord oh Lord. Quite a bit of depth, quite a bit of potential starters have been added to the NFC West division. Now, folks, as we know, in the draft is just a little over a week. So really when it comes down into it, I just kind of want to go around the table and I kind of want to get a good idea of what you're hoping for. Like what's going to make you a happy fan if you walk away on a Saturday when everything is all said and done. Sunday, excuse me. Talk to me, Mike. Um, I hope we don't overthink this. Uh, I hope we get Marvin Harrison Jr. if he's there at four. Um, if there is an option to trade back, it better be King's Ransom. And plus, we've heard three first-round picks. We've been now heard Vikings don't want to uh, potentially do that. So, like, if we do, I hope we get a King's Ransom. I want Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, honestly, what I really, truly want is one of the top three guys. Uh, Marvin, Roma Dunze, or Malik Neighbors. So, um, I can settle for, for trading back, but I just don't want us to overthink this. Get the guy that we need. Um, and then I hope we also just kind of fill up a lot of needs that we have. Uh, we got a lot. Cornerback, edge, you, you name it. Throw a dart. We, we have that need. So uh, yeah, I, I just want to bring in talent, and uh, I think that's exactly what Monty's going to do. I love it. Jesse, what about you, man? Well, Sunday is here. Brandon Ayuk still a 49er. That's number one. Number two, they don't take Rosengarten at 31. If they do take Rosengarten, I'm fine with it, but trade back a few spots, at least recoup some picks. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll be just fine. What so about you, Norb? What I'm kind of curious about is, do the Seahawks really plan to try to win immediately? You know, new coach, new head, you know, coordinators. There's a lot of change here. They got rid of the basketball hoop, the old legendary basketball hoop that Pete Carroll's had in the uh, press con- you know, press room for all these years. It's definitely uh, signs are changing. But I feel like there's so many safe picks here for them. Obviously, the for us, the offensive line, like getting um, uh, Troy Fatanu, I mean, that would be like ultra safe, totally makes sense with big time need there. They could also go edge rush. That would totally make sense. And, uh, you know, interior, interior defensive line, all three of those are positions that you can't really not like it. And I feel like if they're doing that, that means, okay, maybe they're trying to stay competitive this year to maybe try to push for a run. But if they don't, they trade back, then I'm going to start getting a little bit, you know, excited at the possibility that maybe they are thinking, they might be going for 
a quarterback of the future, knowing that they're going to have to sacrifice a little bit now for the next year or two to really have any kind of chance at you know competing in the trenches, if they really think that their quarterback beyond the next you know one or two years is there in the draft this year. So if they if they trade back, then I I feel like they might be going for the long game uh, at the cost of maybe a little bit of a little bit of suffering in the in the short term. But Wait, didn't you guys so, get Howl? Isn't he your guy? They have Howl, and you know Howell according the to rooms. the you know the GM and all that. I mean, he's like yeah, definitely Geno's spot to lose. Howl's the backup plan to basically you know uh, be the number two. You know, they're going to really say what they're going to do, you know. So, I mean, it's very possible that they've got this plan that uh, they could. I still think that connection with the offensive coordinator from UW, Ryan Grubb, could could be, you know, they don't even need to have him in for a visit because they kind of know what he's what he's got. So, they might be playing that close to the vest. So, we shall see. Michael too many Penix. needs. Michael too Penix, many needs. Yeah. So, it's not too much to go wrong with. Michael Penix of the Seahawks. You already hear first. Hopefully, Jake. Bo Nix. <laughs> Jake, what about you? Man? That'd be hilarious. Uh, I would. I would just. Oh my! I'd feel bad for Norb, to be fair, because I, I, <laughs> I could see this Washington connection, and then if they took Bo Nix, oh good god. <laughs> um, he yeah, came I'll, in for a visit. I'll that be honest. I'll, I'll be happy with a lot of things uh, in the first round. I mean. You know, I think I really want to see the Rams trade up, be aggressive, get one of the the few blue chip prospects that are in this draft. Um, you know, as you guys know, I've been saying it, shouting it from the rooftops. But, you know, I'll be happy with one of Odunze, Neighbors, Thomas Jr., Mitchell. If they trade up, if they stay, I like those guys in the first. If they get Bowers, can't hate on that. If they get any offensive tackle, like all... Fashionu, Fuaga, Latham, Fatanu, Mims, I'll feel good. Chop, Burst, Latu, Turner, can't complain. Mitchell and Arnold at cornerback. But if they pick a quarterback, I'm going to be pissed unless Drake May <laughs> fell into the lap at 19. Then I, I don't think you could really pass that up. Um, if they pick a wide receiver, that's unlike any of the guys I named, I'm going to be upset. And if they pick Tyler Guyton, I'm going to lose my mind because if if they pick Tyler Guyton at 19, especially if if Mims is still on the board, <laughs> I am going I'm going to go hysterical, man. And I'll be live like doing like a show. So, I mean, I, I'll I'll do it like live. Like I because I mean, that's just how I'm going to react. Like I could see like I, I trust the Rams to develop whoever they get. But. I saw Peter Schrager, who, like, I love Peter, but, like, that mock today, getting, uh, he, he had them getting gut in at 19. I was, like, and I was not the only one. The, the fans were, like, freaking out and everything. But I, I also want to say, I don't think they need an interior defense alignment in the first round just because they lost Donald. So, yeah. I think I'll be happy either way. I trust this team. I trust the way they draft. Last year was the best draft they've ever had, in my opinion. And uh, I think it's because they changed what they look for, what they, you know, value and their overall archetypes. Because I can tell you right now, Steve Avila didn't fit any of the boxes that, you know, they were willing to check in the past. So they drafted out of their archetype and their their usual. So as long as they continue down that path, I think it's going to be a fun draft either way. I actually have a new thing that I'm rooting for because it would piss both Jake and Norb off equally. And next to the Rams. Can we make that happen? Yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. And, but for different reasons, it. Folks. the 49ers would win the draft. Let me just make this very clear. The 49ers win the draft without having to draft a pick. If the Rams take Penix, the Seahawks take Bonix, and the Cardinals don't get Marvin Harrison Jr., the 49ers have already won. Hang it up. Hang it up already. Folks, thank you again oh, man. to another edition of the NFC West Roundtable. Uh, we will be taking next week off, obviously, because all of us are going to be streaming individually, our own channels for this wild, wild week. However, we will be back. Uh, the following week to go over to each and every single pick where we can really get a better understanding of what the NFC West is going to look like in 2024. Folks, 
Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you in two weeks. Cool. Go cards. Go hot.